Hey guys, in this video we see the final phase of Tears of the Sun. To finish up this op, the white team is tasked with defending the fire base. I will position myself outside the wire near the swamp at the left rear corner of the base. With shooting lanes to cover the advancing plane forces moving in on the left, which has proven to be a weak spot in the past. The plane team begins with a mortar barrage over the left rear side of the base, taking out several of the defenders. This spot has everything you could ask for in a hide. Two good wide shooting lanes that the enemy must cross to advance. A secure blind spot, in this case my left and rear are protected by a deep swamp and boundary. A back door to get out quick. Here I can retreat to the base or bail into the thick cover behind me. And maybe the most important part is a good backdrop to hide my silhouette. a player had moved up to that same old tree, but now thinks twice and decides to bail. I notice a couple guys trying to sneak around my left, but only to discover it's a deep swamp and they are totally exposed. With 
all that heavy mock gear worn at these mill sims. I won't comment on whether any of these shots are hits or not. Let's just say they know that that route is not an option. Noting that they would have to cover 40 yards of open swamp in muck up to their knees. <laughs> This guy made it across the first gap, but then pops back out from behind the tree. This is where I first notice my gun cam keeps shutting off. After six hours of recording, I'm already on my second battery, and that's all I have with me. Two guys tried to pop out there. Whether these are hits or not, nobody's crossing my shooting lanes. They probe to the edge of the swamp again, only this time I'm spotted. So I decided to bail. Or do I? Although they wouldn't have been able to get any shots at me there, the key to my setup was the fact that they did not know where I was. So I chose to at least make them think that I bailed before doubling back and trying to get back in position. With thick vegetation between us, I'm convinced that they think I've retreated back into the base.
Although I couldn't hear him call it, I see the players hit. I notice two players move into the open in my shooting lane to the right. One player's hit, but it looks like the other one may have dove to the ground behind the tree. Friendly, friendly. There's someone snuck up to the backside of the berm over on the tree line. He's on the back side. He crawled right up to the back of the berm. Over near the thorn bush. I notice a player run across to medic a player I had hit. Now I notice there's a third person between them. Pretty sure that was the one that got away the first time. That one through the scope. Normally I just shoot instinctive. Nice to know the scope is dialed in when I need it. Oh, and the gun cam wasn't on. As the enemy tries to advance more towards the front of the base and further out away from me, they begin to get more action into my second shooting lane. Unfortunately, it's at this point that the battery in my goggles also begins to fail, along with the tired muscles and dehydrated body. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Originally, without the gun cam, I wasn't going to use that footage, but I had so much fun and it was so effective holding that squad pinned down for so long, I just had to use it. I was over 40 minutes of recording when the goggles went out, and I went at least another 10 or 15 minutes before I was actually hit. Um, it's unfortunate that I don't have the rest of that footage because it was great. I just want to say right now, hats off to the Sog Hunter from that squad. He ended up in the end coming out across that open swamp up to his knees or deeper in the muck trying to get in behind me. 
I did see him at the last minute and I took him out, but that's what exposed me and allowed his teammates to take me out immediately. So, you know, it was a great job on your behalf. I'm not sure I would have gone out in the middle of that swamp like that. So, um, great job on your behalf. The spot I was in was great. I had two wide shooting lanes that went all the way across to the briar thicket, so nobody was getting through there up to the back side of the berm or the left side of the base there without me getting some good shooting at them. Um, as long as I stayed hidden and uh, didn't get taken out, I had that locked down. The mortars were softening up the left side of the base there, but I was out in the woods, so they weren't affecting me. And uh, like I said, as long as I stayed stealthy and stayed hidden, I had great shooting lanes to keep them at bay. As far as I know, nobody ever got up to the left side of the base and fired a shot into it while I was there. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And again, thanks for watching. This is Smoke with Taz Airsoft. See you next time.